Hi, today we're going to be looking at using the Vampire Data Converter. The Vampire Data Converter, or VDC, can be used to visualize your simulation outputs. To do this, it produces files that are easily read in by programs such as JMOL, RASMOL, VESTA, and POVRAY. VDC is packaged with a Vampire source. To use it, it must first be compiled. Go to the folder where Vampire is installed and type make VDC. The executable can then be found under utils VDC. Before I go on, all the information here, as well as much more, can be found in the manual, found on the Vampire website and also included in the source code. Let's start by displaying the atoms in a system. Before running a simulation, add the parameter config atoms to your input file. Then, after you have run the simulation, you will see several new .data and .meta files, which are used by VDC. You can now run VDC using its executable and the command line option double dash XYZ. This produces an XYZ file that can be opened with, for example, JMOL. You can use several command line options to change the appearance of your system. For example, you can remove materials or slice the particle to check its composition. Let's say you've created the input files for a core shell system and you want to make sure that the core is the correct size. You can use the command line option double dash slice to check if everything is okay in JMOL. Next, we'll look at visualizing spins with Povray. Povray is a ray tracing program that generates images from a scene description. To get this, we need to run VDC with the command line option double dash povray, which produces three new files, a spins.inc file, a .ini file, and a spins.pov file. The .pov file contains several important parameters that, can, that we can adjust if needed. There's the camera position, look at point, and camera angle, which can all be adjusted to focus on the whole system or a specific point, depending on what's needed. To run Povray, use the commands shown here. The dash W and dash H options change the resolution of your image, while the dash A option affects the anti-aliasing. This should produce a .png file of your material. We can use command line options to VDC to change the look of the image. Double dash slice and remove materials can still be used to look at spins inside the material. However, we also have new options to change the colors of the spins. By default, VDC uses a red, white, blue color map that colors spins along the positive Z axis red and spins along negative Z blue. If we have a simulation where spins do not align with the Z axis, we could get something like this. Here, the spins are aligned along 111 and to fix this, we can use the double dash vector Z option, along with VDC. And now the proper image should be corrected. We can also change the color map that VDC uses. This can help with systems where the default map doesn't highlight well the spin configuration. Here we have a small cylindrical particle with spins in a vortex configuration. The default color map doesn't show well what direction the spins are facing. If we use the color map called C2 by using the double dash color map option with VDC, we can get this, which better groups similar spin orientations. To read more about different color map options, as well as other possible changes, take a look at the manual which explains everything covered here and a lot more.